Welcome back to another episode of Stuck in the Middle here with the Couch Talk. I'm joined by beautiful boss woman surrounded by me. I'm going to start to my left. You have Diamond Dimple, you know, sipping her nice bottle of red wine. Okay. Miss Nancy Conjo of the Conjo Show. Tanaya and Benicia. I will shout out your labels, but, you know, they with the team. But anyway... I, I want to change gears just a bit. I want to. Sh- sh- I'm about to take it up a notch. Oh Lord! <laughs> so, in the previous discussion, we also had a conversation about, you know, this day and age of protecting women, and um, ensuring protect black women. Yeah, of course, protecting Period. black women and, and making sure that um, they're kept safe. The time of celebration is now upon us. Many of us are going to clubs. Mm-hmm. Like, well, excuse me. Let me take that Club, back. Yeah. Kickbacks in the panoramic and <laughs> kickbacks <laughs> and small gatherings of six people or less, um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Women, this topic of sexual assault has been a huge case, right? Growing, <laughs> yeah. I really, I really took a shift. Hmm. My question is, how do we as men protect black women, right? My first question is. When it comes to sex, consensual sex, what is the proper approach a man should take in order to gain that yes from a woman to say it's okay? To gain? Yeah, to have, because what I've been seeing is that a man may think it's okay, right? Let me tell you the mindset of a man. There may be some restraint, the mindset of a man, the there may be some restraint from a woman and a man may take that as, oh, she's just playing hard to get. No, that's why I say it's so much. How do we approach men, approach that conversation of See, consensual no sex? Conversation. Yes is yes, no is no. Yes. But how? How do I know yes, yes is yes? When she says yes, I will But mouth. that's what I'm asking. How do I ask? Ask! You ask. Ah! Do you want to do you know what do you know what do you ask? What do you See, mean? Do you have to you use your words unless you use your words? Unless you don't talk. Unless you don't talk. Okay. Time out, time out. I think I think there's Please. different there's different like ways to do ask. this, right? So <clears throat> I usually receive Me and you Please. are one on one, right? Some men, some women don't like a blatant man to just come out. So what you trying? I'm trying. Yes, yeah, so okay. I'm trying. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, what, what, I'm that's trying, what I'm yeah. saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's not using that's your words. Okay. I'm trying. Yeah, it's not using your words. So that's what I'm saying, no. right? Yeah, so, some some men, right? This is how the 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 they would try to do something like that. They will take you a lot on on this thing, spoil you, and mm-hmm. you know it will give them a getaway for you to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Open sesame. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> yeah. yeah, a couple so, dates. Wait, wait. So you gonna rub on the wait. lamp? <laughs> some will be, some will be really patient with you, and then at some point they'll be like, "Huh, I've done this for her. I've done this for her. I think she should be able to, to say yes by mm. now." And then you get to the point now, and she resists you, and you're now thinking maybe there's something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. But then you're not understanding that that's a no from her. Okay. So some women, some women are you. You can do that to them. Mm-hmm. That will happen. Some women, some women even will even give you consent without you even giving anything to them. But that's so my point. So it depends point. on her actually. That's some, my point. Yeah. When the woman say no with her mouth, or when she's she say uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Uh-uh, 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 like. No, I agree. My point is this, right? That space that you're you're getting to, right? I've taken you out on on dinner dates, right? My my, you're right. My mindset is now I've taken this girl on on dates. <laughs> I've spent money on her. I've I've been texting her good morning, Great. giving her conversation all through the day, and Same. even wishing her well at night, right? <laughs> I I feel that I've been putting in that work. Don't we're now in a we're now in a closed environment. Where it's just you and I. My approach. I might slide my arm over. I might lean in. Mm -hmm. I might try to make our bodies get closer. At that point where I love you. Mm -hmm. What is that conversation? Is it okay if I kiss you? Is it okay if I sit closer? If you need to take a step by step. Is it okay if I touch your thigh? Is it okay? These are words. Use them. Step by step. Use them. Wait, hold on. Some people are not that verbal. 
You understand? Even men, they're not that verbal. should be having sex. I'm talking about right? about sex. You're saying, if, is it okay if I kiss you? You can lean in and try. If she pushes away. Yeah, if she pushes so. away, it's still enough. But I mean, if you I mean, touch her, Hanya, she say, I beg, move it. If you touch my mm-hmm. nyash, that we do not have a conversation. Hey, about. you've mm-hmm. sexually harassed me. So that's and that's that's what's important. That's what what I'm trying to tell you to do is to safeguard yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. In the in the era of me too, if you want to protect yourself, you better learn how to use, use your mouth. Because if you don't, you will get in trouble. Mm. That's why you need to learn to ask: Is it okay if I touch you here? Is it okay if I kiss you? Is it okay? It, it may feel overbearing. It may feel. It may take away from the sexiness. Of it all, if she's not your girl, ask questions. Even if she's your girl, let me tell you something. Even yes, if she's your ask. girl, there are times. You're my man, you have to ask. But. No, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, for me, that's quite a rock. Your yeah. man has to ask you every time he wants to play. No, 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 no. But if it's someone that is not your girl, you if know you're not my husband, hey. but don't even try. And if she is your girl and she seems uncomfortable, yeah. you don't have to read the room. Yeah. I think that's one thing men have to learn to read the room. If she's uncomfortable, ask questions. Well, overall, in a, in period. Where, even if she's your girl. Mm-hmm. You you know you would know how she wants it like when she's in the mood. Mm-hmm. You can't just expect that because I'm your gay. It's like oh, I just forced yeah. it. Yeah. No, then oh, things that I don't want nothing. I don't want, don't want no. I can make just gay. And also I expect because that oh, you're, dating, you're my I'm boyfriend. Like, okay, I, I want and I'll some you. good loving. You're and nice. if you just don't have the energy for that, I yeah. have to respect that. So my not- man or not. I have to respect that. So sometimes it's like, okay, I'm not, if, if, when well, you have to respect if he doesn't want it and you want it. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's, it's just, but it, but it comes back to this whole, uh, getting close. Mm-hmm. If, if, if I come to sit closer to you, you can say, is it okay if I stay here? Because mm. people have boundaries. We have mm. our bubbles as human beings. It, that especially we in this pandemic. Right? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and so you can't be coming into my personal space without my permission. It's mm. just that simple. So mm. on to the point that you're touching my nyash. Hey. You have sexually harassed me. If I go and call the police, I'm going to your partner. No, 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 no. Okay. no that was just on the side. Okay. That was on the side. I'm no, because no, the that is a very valid question. That was actually my next question. Well, what was the question? Which is, if... As a partner, right? So let's say now you're actually together with this person, mm-hmm. right? Is it still considered sexual assault if it's unwarranted, right? Just like yeah. how you said your your boyfriend may not want it at that moment, but you still, baby, stop playing with me, and you know you're still touching him, you're still rubbing him. He's just like, nah. I mean, I'm not going to go and call the police and. If if he says he doesn't want, then then, then I, he doesn't want. Yes. Uh, what's the, the problem? I respect, I respect myself. <laughs> As in, I respect myself. Excuse please. me. I was, I'm yeah. sure that there are times when I'm just like, please, I need to be by myself right now. I need you to sit over there, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be over here. Thank you. Hard times. Don't Hard times. If, if, respect yourself. We are everybody respect themselves. <laughs> please. I mean, it, it gets lost in translation sometimes. I think it's really important for, you know, men to know these things because I think that we grew up in, I forget what the, the term is, but it's a chauvinistic society, right? We grow up thinking that it was okay to do these things. I thought it was okay that if I'm alone with a girl one-on-one during Netflix, I can whip it out. I thought oh. that that was okay. Hmm. Sure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I could Honestly, just skip the whole thing and it said whip it out. My guy, I wouldn't say open your mouth and ask. I would say that it's preferable for you to try in a way, like a little teaser. No, and then if he says no, then you're gonna yeah, stop. No. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't. I don't want to. So I would say no. You're asking me. I would just say no, simple. Because I mean that. Like, when I even get into that, but I rather you just try to kiss. And if I say. Then if he tries to touch my leg, I say, "No, but we're not." You already know. So that then, why exclusive. why put that why put that man in that position in that space, right? Oh, yeah, why? Okay. So this is I think this is what gets lost, right? I think there's always this thing, right, where we misread signs because that's what, really what, what it signs? is. What signs? Okay. I think women also on that on that particular um, um, part are being selfish for letting. Knowing that a man is coming into you, that's what I'm saying. And you're letting him in, and you're letting him knowing that he has affection, 
and coming towards you and you guys are going you go to the movies you're going on dates like I mean, if you don't maybe well maybe, maybe feel, instead of stop, mm. okay some men you can <laughs> feel like that but you have to be careful exactly. because then it, it makes women think that they owe men something, something mm. for taking it away no 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 Okay, then, no, that, then that's okay. You make it straight and no, that's what if you're going on this date to try to get to know. What if you're going on this date to try to get to know the guy? From yeah, the, from you the, 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 you know what? You're ready for sex. But that doesn't mean that but then you should not expect sex because somebody is feeding you and taking you to one thing. Two things. Men should not men should be ready. I men should mature enough to the point where they shouldn't go with the mindset of date to sex. No, yeah. I that needs to change. That I will yeah. agree with. But at the same time, right? At the same time, women should men like men only have one intention. I'm gonna be honest. If we say we want to be your friend, we will say that, right? Yeah. But I think a lot of times when we have this perception of she gave me her number, right? I'm going with the intention of trying to be something more. She hasn't told me that she's not interested. I think if that conversation is had earlier, it would alleviate a lot of these these problems, That's right? Like Sometimes, how early. would she know she's interested unless she goes on those dates and gets to know you and talk to you? That's fine, right? Yes. Yeah. You can you can have that, right? You can say, all right, look, I'm just going, going to get to know you. You know, what are the plans, right? Okay. If you're in that position, right? Yeah. If you're in that position, to me, that makes you the dominant position because at the end of the day, he's peaking your interest to see what you're open to. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, his whole goal was set to just take you out. Him taking you out to the movies, that's it right there. Anything that's left afterwards is left is up to an interpretation. Because he's just trying to look for avenues you're in enjoying. which Yeah, you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's my personal take on it. I'm sure many men may disagree with me, but that's just me. Why? No. What do, what do you think your daddy? No, women, women, women. That's, women. that's because you guys are taking kids out on a date. Kids mm-hmm. that are not, mm-hmm. are not mature to go eat. If you know, are, so my, nice. my right. thing with that is, well, well okay. first of all, to so piggyback off what you were saying, is that how about we just not have an expectation for sex in general? Like, I feel yeah, like that, I mean, that, that would just save, that yeah. would just save people that a lot of time. Be. Because when it's time to have sex, you both will know, period, yeah. point blank, period. period. Just take that off the table because it just feels like a lot of pressure. And yeah, now you feel like this person's right. feeding me. I'm supposed to come, at, that's I'm so supposed to come and get something. But to go off the, the, you shouldn't be going on dates to eat. If you enjoy this person's company, if you enjoy the conversation, why not? It's just at the end of the day, what if that person doesn't want to have yeah. sex at all? What exactly. if you went for marriage? So you wasted your time. Oh, just to get fed. Free marriage. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that broke. That's true. But I'm saying, if you get enough. <laughs> but if you enjoy, if you've been talking to this girl, that's why I always like. I'm I'm a proponent for like making sure that you've talked on the phone, FaceTime, do what you got to do before you meet in person. Because if the conversation's been good enough to keep talking to this person, then what is it to go out and feed this person with twenty something dollars, thirty dollars worth a plate of food? Like, what's the issue? Yeah, I think I think the like, men that the complain issue? about. I'm just gonna say this. And it might sound harsh, but Please, whatever. Okay. I think no. I think the men that. You know, complain about taking mm-hmm. a girl out to eat, mm-hmm. whether she's giving you sex or not. That's just some weak ass shit. Thank you. That's just me. me <laughs> Absolutely. You know it's like, if you don't have the money, don't just say. Yeah. And, then, don't and then, don't and then no, because it's, the reason why men, I'm sorry, I'm, I hate to be male bashing right now. Don't, 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 no, the reason, no, the reason why it's, it's some weak shit is because you're taking the girl out with the intention of trying to get something out of her or something out of it. Right, right. taking that, her out, that's how but then you complain you that she doesn't want to give you anything. Well, nigga, you spent one one dinner date thinking that she was gonna get sixty dollars does not equate to the value of a woman. Let me let me say that again. Sixty dollars does it not is, equate. Honestly, four hundred dollars. Honestly, four hundred dollars. What does that mean? It doesn't it matter. Means, it does not equate the value it, to it, a woman. The men who don't want to spend money on a date just don't have the money. Like mm-hmm. they don't, they're broke. It's okay. Just say you don't have the money to take a woman out. Like, interested. You go and eat and then go stay. I don't think it's that. No, I think no, there's you, that issue too. But if there's mutual interest, it should not be a problem for you. Like even Man. me, me and my my friends. Like if I if I care for my whatever. Like if I'm having a good conversation, 
I'll take care of the bill. Like, if you're really vibing with this person and you're really feeling them, paying for food is, like, to me, I'm mm -hmm. just like, what? what is See, your problem? I mean, See, you're, you're saying you go out to eat. Good time, we can pay for the food. Why would like, I go I enjoy your company. It's because oh, the person like, ghosted the, the person because they were, the time was not good. Maybe the oh, if, was if, if we're being Maybe honest. If we're being honest. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, like, so <laughs> But That's it's right. okay. <laughs> why? Why should it be? I have one on date and it's an left. Just in a lost your number. <laughs> what do no. you do? Mm. It's how <laughs> I'm not saying it's not how. Yeah, it's food. Food. I made my house. That's why you I'm asked saying. me to come That's out. I came out. We ate. We so went home. So, 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 no, before we lose our heads. So then, so so Damn. now, so this now brings me to this, right? Y'all go out with people we've you're not gone, interested in. We've gone out on yeah, a date a with somebody that we're not interested in, as a, we only <laughs> saw wild. as no, a friend level. Give me a chance. But me they out, piqued right? your interest enough to say, "I'll see what they got, what mm -hmm. they have to I don't offer." Do that no, one. but time out. I don't do that one. How, is there a conversation afterwards? Besides, you don't have to ghost. I think that there should be a conversation afterwards to say, you know what. I went out. I gave you an opportunity. I never you blew ghosted it. anyone before. But do really? you at least do you let oh, them know that I hey, I just don't view you as that after that date? Yes, I or do you know. just kind of just let things die? Out? I let I things die. I don't go out with people I'm not interested in. Die. Let's start there. Well, I Let's tell you, <laughs> I don't so, keep persisting so and insisting. If I didn't enjoy myself the first time we went out, I'm not. I'm honestly, if I feel disrespect, I'm not going to go back on that same. I'll take you. Yeah, if something happens happen. on that date to the point where I feel disrespected, then yeah, you ain't gonna hear from me. And I will but, tell you that this is what happened. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're not in my younger you. days, I'm gonna be honest, I have been out. Not not because I wasn't interested. It was just like, okay, you asked me out on a date. We haven't. I, I go out I eat. Mean, okay, no, yeah. And then after that, I was like, <laughs> so tonight you're an habitual ghoster. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I don't ghost that. people. That's, that's not the thing. Mm hmm. Ghosting somebody is some when you ghost somebody, right? It's somebody you were talking to, or well, you guys had a certain level of relationship. Not always. Mm -hmm. No, I think it has to be yeah, for it to be ghosting. Yeah, no, no, no. It has because to. Be. It, can it be doesn't. Sexy no, no, once no, no. In a while, and like, let's yes, go out. Yes, it's not let's, ghosting. That's not ghosting. I think ghosting has, is different for for some people. There, there are I guys guess. that I've, you know, I've maybe texted for a couple weeks, and if they don't hear from me again, they consider it ghosting. Well, that's their so, problem. If I'm, so that's what I'm saying. I think, I I, like well, no, that to me is like I didn't know you, so mm -hmm. we're not on that it level. I, ghost, I agree. Ghosting I agree. to me for it to actually mean something is for, for we were on a level I where yeah, communication. I or at least I felt like our relationship was like that, and then all of a sudden I can't reach you, I can't talk to you, I can't say hi to you. That is ghosting, and that hurts. Yeah. That is abuse. Hey, but that's a the that's topic true. for a whole other She's speaking from experience. Most people, if we, that's if we never but what, if he that what if he built an emotional connection, even though y'all per se may not have met or whatever, over just talking, right? And then you, for whatever reason, decide you, you don't, you're not feeling it anymore because maybe somebody else came in the picture or whatever. You have done that too. I mean, you tell him that. You know, <laughs> but you weren't even feeling the first way. It was just conversation for you, but they're like catching feelings. Well, you tell them. Well, that that was younger me. Like in this day and age, right? It really comes back, honestly, to be to be as candid and serious as possible. It comes back to communication mm -hmm. and confidence. But yeah. you're in a relationship, so of course you say that. No, no, no. Yes, I am. But but that's that's beyond the point, right? Even mm -hmm. if I wasn't in a relationship, it, even in the relation, it really boils down to communication and confidence. Because if you cannot communicate, straight up. Probably a good day. All side relationship or no relationship. Mm -hmm. Use your words. <laughs> Is there a time limit on, um, on a, a, a period that's considered like ghosting? So, like for example, right? You would say that after two months or three months, right? You've been consistently talking to somebody, and oh, then after that three months, that's a long, that's okay. A long time. So how long is too short or how long is too long before it's considered ghosting or just fell out of communication? I feel like, I mean, I don't want to make it a time frame thing. Yeah. But like, if you both feel like there's been an emotional connection that you guys are doing lovey-dovey, I want yeah. to be with you, bum, 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 then okay. 
but um, if it's morning. yeah, if it's but if it's only one sided, then somebody needs to get the clear picture. Yeah. Yeah. Be no, because I think when you separate. when you when you put it that way, right? People can develop attachments a lot faster than others, right? I've That's seen like I've seen on both um, on both sides, both male and female, how based on the person that they were dealing with, they caught feelings within a week. Next thing you know, they they feel like this is the one. Then all of a sudden, three weeks well, later, then. three weeks later, the other man. person has gotten what they needed and they just vanished. Man. Like man. that. <laughs> what you mean? Women uh, do it too. I, I mean, women both sexes do it. Do it. I'm not do gonna it. lie. Both sexes like, do it. It boils down to really being emotionally healthy and knowing yourself. <laughs> because when you know yourself, certain things don't. They're not as. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. off the bats. Like I said, I know what I know. I know what I don't. Yeah, know. I know what I like, and I know what I don't like. If I if I tell you that I don't like you, just answer yourself. exactly. <laughs> respect yourself, yourself and be going because you stay and I come and chop your food. Don't be complaining <laughs> because if you don't respect yourself, you will learn respect yeah. after that one. See, I can't learn, do that. I can't do that. If you don't learn, I mean, I, I now I can't. But at some point, I was like, Back man, like seriously, you're not listening. I'm hungry. There's tilapia or, or there's bunny fish, there's soya, I'm there's sick. fried plantain. You bought it. I'm eating. Bye. What, <laughs> what do you want? See, the fried legs, this. Yes. Like, what do you want? I want to close it off with this one last question because I feel like this is a very important topic. And I'm going to start with Venetia. 